So what we'll do is we'll start with the basics. We'll start with the inverter for some point of time. It, we, we'll, we won't go into details of the inverter operation, but we'll go into the basics of how will the device perform whenever there are scenarios of uh, uh, whenever there are varying scenarios of load capacitance at the output of the inverter. Let's try to look into that. So if the first scenario is that the uh, in the output load capacitance is high. It's high means whatever whatever we the highest that we have seen till uh, till this video was like 100 femto farads. We can assume it to be like 150 femto farads or even more 200 femto farads. Let's say so it's close to it's it's very high. So the low the, so the first assumption is that let us try to look into a load capacitor which is very high and it is close to 150 femto farads. Let's say for example. And and there is one more scenario where you have a case where the output load capacitance is very low, which is like let let's say close to five femtofarads or ten femtofarads. So let us try to look into these two scenarios. So rest all remain remain constant. For example, the input transition uh, input transition signal of of this at at the input of this uh, particular uh, inverter and at the input of this particular inverter, they both remain same. The transition time remains the same. The output inverter remains the same. The uh, the PMOS and NMOS characteristics or behavior of the PMOS and NMOS from a device point of view, they all remain the same. Only one thing we are changing over here is the load capacitance at the output of this particular inverter.